Hello, hello, it is the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, coming to you with another episode of Podcasting Your Purpose. And today we're going to talk about being a guest on a podcast. So if you're not ready to host your own show, but you love listening to podcasts and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I would love to be a guest on that podcast then let's get started on how you can become a guest on your favorite podcast. So I'm assuming that you've been listening to this podcast for a while because it's your favorite and you have some information that you want to share as well. So why not reach out to that podcast host and offer to be a guest and why you should be a guest. Because like I said, you've been listening to the show. You know the flow of the show. And you're saying to yourself, I would make a great guest on that show. So reach out to them. Send them an email. Let them know that you are interested in being a podcast guest. And if you don't know of any podcast guests, out, I mean hosts out there that fits your niche, go to LinkedIn, go to Twitter, go to the Facebook. There's groups out there. Find out who is hosting their own podcast, what their topics are, and listen to some of the episodes. Once you find them, if you feel like you'd be a good guest to broaden your brand, again, it's all about expanding your exposure online, especially as we're pivoting during the pandemic. So find out who that host would be. And if you would be a good guest, reach out to them, send them an email, send them a DM and tell them why you would be a good guest for their show, what you can offer their listeners, and make sure, again, to reference some of the previous episodes so that they know that you have been a a listener for them. So when you're accepted, you send out this email and they or DM or even call them and they say, yes, we want you on my show. Yes, I want you on my show. And here's the date and time for the pre-record or the live show. Make sure that you ask them if you can get the questions in advance. So if you've been listening to the show, you kind of know the flow of the show, you kind of know what the questions are going to be about. And if it's a topic that you're an expert in, you're the subject matter expert, you should be able to answer those questions. So ask them, do you have questions before the show? I normally ask for the information, what the person is promoting, what, you know, the product, the service, so that I can formulate my script based on that. So ask for those questions if you you need to know those questions. If not, make sure that you're proficient in what you're promoting, right? And next thing, ask them how they're going to record. If it's going to be on Zoom and you don't know how to use Zoom, learn it. Learn a Zoom. Go to YouTube University and find out how to record on Zoom. And when they send you the Zoom invitation, please go before, five minutes, seven minutes before the actual time to start to make sure that you're connecting and everything is is working well. Because again, we're on a schedule. We want to make sure if I give you a schedule for 1 to 1.30, I may have something that's coming up at 1.45. So if you're late, and we get delayed, then you're throwing my schedule off. So if you get the Zoom invite for 1 p.m., go on there, get on there at least by 12.55 you know, p.m. That way that at one o'clock you're ready to go. So test out your equipment. You wanna make sure you've got the internet connection. You gotta make sure that your camera's adjusted. And speaking of having your camera adjusted, ask them if they're going to be doing audio and video. Oftentimes, a podcast host will repurpose their content onto YouTube or onto a lot or onto Facebook or some sort of video. And if it's going to be video and audio, you want to make sure that you got your hair done, right? You got to make sure you got your makeup done because it's going to be out there for the world to see. So make sure you do that and set yourself again. You're setting yourself up for, you know, audio or video. So at least ask them that beforehand. Now, be in a quiet place. You know, we talk about podcasting, be behind closed doors. You don't want anybody coming in, walking in, talking, the kids screaming, the dog barking. You want it to work for you. So again, when you get the time of that show, let everybody know at one o'clock, I'm going to be on, you know, the radio interview. I'm going to be on a podcast. 
stay away because you want it to be professional. You know, it's, it's not cute. It's not fun to have kids yelling and running and dogs barking. Um, and it's disrespectful to your podcast host. So if you can schedule it um, so that you, it's in a quiet area, fine. Oh, also, this has happened to me before. If you can't find a quiet place and you're in your car, please make sure that you're not going through the Bluetooth because that is very um, distracting. Bluetooth is not a good um, way to re to have a podcast interview. I'm not sure, you know, if it's the Bluetooth in the vehicle, if it's the noise around, I don't know. It just doesn't work that well. So try not to have a, be in your vehicle and, and then go through the Bluetooth, use your phone. And that way it's clearer. If you're get a brain fart and you're in the middle of something and you just totally mess up, you can ask your host to stop and start over because Nine times out of 10, they can edit, they can cut out. So yesterday I was actually doing a podcast for my blog, your way to business, uh, business profit, which is every a Wednesday at one. And I was talking and for some strange reason, my mouth got so dry, I got stopped and there was a break there. So I'm going to let my producer know that there's a break there to cut and edit it. And speaking of mouth, have something to drink, always have something to drink because your mouth is going to get dry. And that way, when your host is asking questions or talking, you can take a sip of water so that you don't get choked up. There have been times that I literally, um, on my old show, that I've had to leave the room because I had a coughing fit while, while my guest was talking. So that happens. And again, treat it like a conversation. It's conversational. Podcasting is informal. Podcasting is fun. I mean, you want to just relax, relate, release. You know, you just want to have fun with it. You don't want it to be so stringent and so, um, uh, what is it, uh, professorial that you cannot have fun. You cannot have, you know, you, you mess up and you feel like, oh my God, this is the end of the world. No, it is conversational. Podcasts are fun. Podcasts are a way to share your information in a, in a, in a way that's, that's human. I'm getting human to human, age to age, right? Um, you should record as well. If you can, if you can have an external recorder, record it as well. So you can get an idea of how you sound before it's actually produced. Nine times out of 10, and I do this. I pre-record my podcast so they don't come out until later to ed edit it. So that way you know um, what you sound it like. And if it's like, oh my God, I sound terrible. Let's do it again. At least you you have that option. So record, you know, set up a, a separate recorder while you're interviewing with your host. You don't have to do that. But again, know, know what you're going to be doing. If it's going to be on Zoom, know that you can use Zoom. If it's going to be, you know, just recording, make sure it's recording. So those are just a few tips I want to share with you today. Again, I have more information in my Podcasting Your Purpose web book. This is still available. Um, I sell these. It has the schedules on there. Um, it gives you a lot of information, step-by-step -step setting up your podcast, whether you're setting up with Anchor FM. It gives you step-by-step -step information on starting um your podcast on Anchor FM. It also just talks about, you know, what is a podcast, why start a podcast, power of podcasting, planning a podcast with the content and the schedules, podcasting like a pro, again, hardware and software. Don't go out and spend a whole lot of money. Use what you have. Again, if you're interested, this is just a simple plug and play. Okay, I use this. When I'm doing my recording on Anchor FM, it's just great. You want to be able to be in a quiet place. So I talk about that. Podcasting promotion pointers, podcasting for profit when you're ready to monetize and you're looking for sponsorship. Remember, we talked about bartering, especially during this time. Podcasting hosting plans. Again, Elite Conversations Radio has hosting plans that are great for all budgets. And then it gets into podcasting on Anchor FM, steps by steps by steps. And I'm still offering the 60-minute mini coaching session, which is $77. So you get the, you know, you can get the brochure, the book for um, $15, then 60-minute one-on-one coaching session to get you started. And I've had quite a few clients, and I've, they've been really, really happy with what I've provided them. Again, head over to dellblogger.com 
to not only subscribe to my blog, but to also order the basic blogging tips for beginners book. Remember, the book bundle is $26. So if you are interested, leave a comment. First of all, remember, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, but also send me an email, info at ablakeenterprises.com. Again, podcasting your purpose. You have a voice, you have a vision, you can literally change someone's life. You can speak your passion, share your vision. You can market your products and your services. You can create a membership site. If you're an MLM, you want to grow your team. Podcasting is great. Repurpose your blog, your vlog, your book. You're building trust. You're becoming likable. Like, trust, people will buy. And you are doing what is most people would love to do. Talk, right? So today I just wanted to go through... If you decide that you're not ready to be a podcast host, but you are ready to be a podcast guest, head over to LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, use the hashtag podcast host, podcast guest, podcast life, podcasting. Listen to your favorite podcasters. If you feel like you'd be a good fit, reach out to them. And when you reach out to them, reference one or two of the episodes so that they know that you have been listening. Make sure your equipment is working. Make sure you know how to use Zoom. Um, make sure you, when you go on Zoom, you go on five to seven minutes early. Oh, and at the end, we always ask, how do you want how can we reach you? How can listeners reach you? Make sure you've got your email address, your telephone number, and all your social media platforms ready to answer that question because that is the final question that most of us ask when we finish up. How can our listeners get a hold of you? So have that information. Have some stories. Make it light. Make it conversational. Relax, relate, release, and have something to drink. And have fun. If you want more information, again, send me an email. Info at ablakeenterprises.com. If you're interested in the web book, that's available for $15. If you're, avail if you're, if you're interested in my blogging book, that's $10. Together, it's $26. And a reminder to head over to Blog Your Way to a Business Profit every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And until the next time, Stay smart, stay safe, and stay social from a distance because I will see you in cyberspace. See ya. It's the DE Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger. Have a beautifully blessed day. Bye-bye.